Hi, hi. This is Doc Mountain, and I welcome you to my channel. We are going to look at uh, properties of a circle. And this is a question that came in 2020, 2022. On an exam for those people who are writing at the GCA. So now, we'll work it out. And so that's what we are here to look at. This, this topic is a major challenge to many learners. But it's all about you knowing the properties of a circle and then when they are brought together in one diagram which is complex you should be able to see them okay, so now let's get into things uh, so the the problem reads in the following diagram abc that's vertex a b c and d are points on the circumference of the circle center o b d that's o b d on the center o b d is the diameter so this line is actually the diameter and a d a d is equal to a c these two lines are equal and then go b d c b d c is equal to 22. find angle a so where is angle a we need to start from a we end on c we are from b a c so what they want us to determine is this angle here which i'm gonna name x so let me write this side to say solutions okay so now for you to answer any question that has to do with properties of a circle you need to know the properties make sure you understand them as you learn them one by one when you do that if no matter how complex the problem will be you'll be able to answer so now the first property is that angle subtended angle subtended by the same chord check out this one is a chord the line drawn touching the circumference at two different points which actually segments the circle into two segments that's the major segment that's the minor segment so the angle subtended by this chord in the same segment this angle and that angle are equal so we can say uh, angle a but in this case we need to specify which angle by actually so b a c is equal to angle b or c d b angle c d b which is equal to 28 degrees so this angle is equal to that angle y because there's a property which says that angle subtended into into the same segment by the same chord are equal so no calculations about whatever i've written that should be 22 degrees uh, so we are done move on to b cbd which angle is that so c b d now I want you to see this one thing. What you need to see is this. They have said that BD is the diameter. This line here is the diameter and it's passing through the center. So what we what I want you to see is this triangle, which is at the bottom here. You focus on this one, and then you need to remember that property of a circle which says that. An angle subtended onto the circumference by the diameter in a semicircle is equal to 90. So this angle here is 90 degrees. Okay. So angle angle C is equal to 90 degrees. So now since we know angle C, we know angle D, we can actually determine angle B because there's a theorem which states that the total summation of the angles on the inside of a triangle is actually 180 degrees so when you add this angle that angle and that angle you should have 180 but we know 22 we know 90 we don't know that angle so we can say uh, cbd is equal to uh okay let me show you this that's plus 22 degrees 22 degrees plus 
90 degrees. And when we add them all, they should give us 180. So CBD plus, so 2 plus 0, that would be, I'm adding them vertically. We are adding these two. So 2 plus that, that's actually 2. 9 plus 2, that's 11. So that would be 112 degrees is equal to 180. Okay, so now we have a linear equation in one unknown variable. So that's a lot is more like having something like this. So now do you get three how do you determine the value of x? What you do is you subtract the additive inverse of this one. That's uh, 112. Even that side minus 112. So when you subtract 112 from, from 112, the answer will be a zero. So we will remain with CBD is equal to. So we now get, uh, we, we need to subtract 112 from 180. So 180 minus 112. 10 minus 2, that's 8. 7 minus 1, 6. So that's 68 degrees. So this angle here is actually 68 degrees. Okay, so now after having determined that one, we can now move on to the last question, which is C. The saying, determine the value of the angle SCD. So we start from here, SCD. The value of the angle here, which I will name Y. Okay, so now what you need to know is this. Uh, this angle and the entire angle from here to there are the same they must be equal why because this triangle here is an isosceles triangle so they're saying i'm pulling out this triangle just it's just that it hasn't been drawn well but when you see such symbols those are geometrical symbols and the geometry you need to know that this line is equal to that line and if those two lines are the same then you have the best angles which are equal this is x that will be x you see that okay so now what that's what we have we, we have a nice sourceless triangle so if we can know this angle here if it's 80 then we'll be able to determine these two best angles so now we are going to apply a certain property which says that angles subtended by the same segment or by the same code onto the circumference within the same segment are equal. So this code here subtends this angle there and that angle there. So if this is 60, 60 rather, that one is 60 degrees as well. So this and that are equal. So now check this one out. What do we have? I'm going to pull out this triangle. We have 68 degrees here. So now what are the values of these two triangles remember when we determine the value of this triangle then we've also determined the value of that triangle so what i'm going to do is this i'm going to bring in the theorem which says that when you add all the angles of a triangle they should give you 180 so here i'm going to say this one is x that one is x this is x that is x so it will be x plus x plus 68 degrees and then we're going to have 180. So x plus x, these are two light terms, so that will give us 2x plus 68 degrees, that's equal to 180 degrees. So this one is the light term to that one. We have to bring in the additive image, which is 68 degrees, even that side, 68 degrees. So these two will go. We are going to have 2x, which is equal to what's 180 minus 68 we get a one from here, 10 minus eight, that's two, seven minus six, one, that's 112. So we are going to have 112 this side. So now what we have is this equation now, that is 2x is equal to 112 degrees. Our interest is to find the value of x. So how do we go about this one? We have to get rid of a two this side by dividing it both sides so we say we have to multiply by the multiplicative inverse but the simplest that you know is that you have to divide, to divide both sides by two so this two and that two that's two there one two there one one into one 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 times x x 
Then 2 into 11, that's a 5. You remember a 1. 5 into 12. When you add that 1 to 2, that's 110. So that would be a 12. 2 into 12, that is 6. So that is uh, 56 degrees. So now we can say, therefore, uh, the angle here, which is ACD, is equal to 56 degrees. So now you see how simple properties of a circle is. The only secret is actually knowing those properties one by one. So I will start teaching this one by one. If you haven't seen my channel on YouTube, you have to check it out because I'll do most of the videos there. And remember to subscribe to that channel by punching in the keywords www.youtube slash at Alicia Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed.